The next heat now, Dave Ostland of the United States. A Minnesota man, six feet seven inches tall. Terry Hollands once more. And he finished in eighth place after Fingal's Fingers. Very disappointed, must come back here. Derek Poundstone, the runner-up to Matthias Pujanovsky in the final in 2008. Zidrina Savikas has got to be one of the favourites to take this event. And a real dark horse is Brian Shaw. Always wears that mouth guard when he's taking part in strongman events. Marius Pujanovsky's time 25.05 and Lauren Charlet's time 33.54. Right in the middle, Zavikas gets away well. Well, it was Poundstone who was up first, but I think Hollands is in the lead here. Zavikas, though, coming back. This is going to be very close, Paul. Well, Hollands gets away. Poundstone is struggling. Zavikas coming on strong. Now, come on, Terry. Grit your teeth. Hollands is going well, but goes down. Poundstone coming through. Wow, what a finish. Poundstone finishes now. And Terry Hollands could finish in a moment. Zavikas finishes. Oh, my goodness. It all went wrong for Terry Hollands on the far side in the last couple of metres. But he's looking at his hands there. And how about Brian Shaw? He's meant to have one of the best grips in the world. He had real problems there. These are very thin handles. And for big men, I think they're almost too thin. Look at Hollands, he's looking at his hands, looks like he's cut them up. That's not the way you want to start the World's Strongest Man finals. Well, we're still waiting for one man to cross the line, and I'm sure the inquest into that event will go on for some time. The American has finished. So the jury is out on whether Terry Hollands is going to score big points here, but Derek Poundstone comes through with a very good time to finish in second place. Sidrina Savikas just faded over the last 10 metres or so. 36.20 for him. Terry Holland, sixth place. He hasn't got off to a great start, has he? 37.13. And Brian Shaw, as Colin Bryce was saying, a big disappointment for the American, expected to do better. Dave Osler, well, I think we know what he thinks about it. Ninth place for the big Yank. I think if this race had been 10 or 15 metres shorter, Hollands would have done a whole lot better. His grip just giving away. Look at the pain on his face. But it's Pudzianowski with 25 seconds, well faster than anyone else who wins. Terry Hollands' fingers absolutely wrecked after that event.